What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to turn this $5,500 X5 to a possibly a $9,000 to $10,000 X5 in this one video. So for those of you guys who want to see a jetpack video, for literally from the start to the finish, fully modifying this car start to finish, and also selling it by the end of this video, make sure to smash that like button and stay tuned. But before we actually get into today's video, I do want to say today's video is sponsored by Simply Carbon Fiber. Honestly, guys, I love their wallet so, so, so much, and I'm happy to work with them every single time because honestly guys this is something everyone should have look how small and elegant this little wallet is super classy and at the same time um, it's just it brings the car nature out of me it's just it's a beautiful wallet um, always brings up a conversation every time I have it like wow it's everything really fitting here I have my receipts over here I literally have my money right back over here um, don't worry don't rob me I'm, it's just a few bucks you know just, um, yeah <laughs> such a sick wallet and I actually just placed an order on their new one because this is a carbon fiber one which I love but they just got a forged carbon one which I mean like guys tell me what looks more baller than forged carbon fiber absolutely amazing cannot wait for that one to get delivered but if you guys want to get the carbon fiber or the forged carbon fiber wallet by simply carbon fiber make sure to check out that link down below so the first thing you guys notice in the interior of this car um yeah we have normal sport not even sport these are just normal 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 base model seats with a little bit of wear right over here we picked this car for fifty five hundred dollars so expecting that it's a base model it's, it's just it is what it is we have the wooden trim we have the stock steering wheel like the non-sport anything like that nothing crazy um it has the gray headliner not the black headliner and coming around to the rear um what this does have though it's a huge plus is the third row seating so we actually have third row seating we have so many upgrades for this car that came from an x5m we have door cards from an x5m you guys saw everything from the thumbnail we have literally a door cards from an x5m we have seats from an x5m i'm gonna be showing you guys a contrast we have aluminum trim and so much more so if you guys are excited to see this transformation make sure to smash the like button we're also doing a bunch of retrofits like rear sun shadings and a couple other things so again if you guys are excited for this video this is probably one of the most jam-packed videos i've ever made so stay tuned so the first thing we're doing guys is actually removing these seats so uh without further ado um let's go ahead and disconnect them So right now we are putting the seat back into the car and uh, there are some small imperfections that came with these seats. It also helped me get a discount on these seats when I originally got it. But I knew it was going to be no problem because you can actually get these things fixed for so, so, so easily and uh, pretty much for free. Um, all it needs to get these little dents out of the leather is to by just basically heating it up. So I went ahead, heated it up, stretched it out, um, and I just keep doing the same process. Heat it up, stretch it out, heat it up, stretch it out. And eventually, as you guys can see, um, the, the, the indentation in the leather from basically something sitting on it for a long period of time comes out and uh, without honestly doing this process it will never honestly come out or maybe it'll come out a little bit over time but without direct heat um, it's not gonna be able to come out just naturally um, so by this process as you guys can see it's coming out so 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 well and since the bolster came out looking absolutely amazing we decided to do the exact same thing for the center and uh, just knock this out
I think it's now time to install this center air vent. Cause I mean like, when is a better time to do it? Ooh, bada bing, bada bang. So before I actually install this air vent back, as you guys can see, it's actually missing one of the top pieces, actually broken on both sides. It's actually missing one of them and they're broken. And we are paying attention to every detail on this car. But the air vent in the trim is not the only thing we're doing to the front. We're also replacing this ugly steering wheel to a sports steering wheel. So uh, three, two, one time lapse. This is gonna be an insane transformation. Guys, I am speechless. Let's go ahead and just keep working. This transformation is coming together so nicely. And guys, hours later of just working on this car, we have the aluminum trim right here, the center area, which looks so much more sportier. We have the sports steering wheel, the X5M seats. I'm gonna do a full cleaning, deep cleaning, and cinematic of this car in the end, so stay tuned. Plus, a full price breakdown of this, so uh, yeah, do not worry guys, that's all gonna come in the end of this video. Plus, obviously, the sell of this car in the end of this video to show you guys the profits, but uh, so far, so good. I did test out the heating, cooling, and massaging buttons, and Thankfully, everything did work, so that is a huge plus. No coating involved whatsoever. So for those guys who have an E70, put in the uh, sports steering wheel, no coating. For those of you guys who want to put um, these X5M seats, now this did come off of a 2000, I believe, 8 X5M. Um, so maybe these are pre-LCI X5Ms, and that's why I just plugged in directly. But even these headrests go up and down, no problem. Um, I don't know the way to adjust this section right here. I think maybe that's the one that needs to be either coated or wired in. But everything else, up, down on the headrest, uh, the side bolsters, the, the this rear section, Section comes forward and back this front section everything works and that's just looking so good um so the next thing i want to knock out on my list is probably going to come around to the rear we do have all the door cards i probably do that in the end uh, we have a few other things like the tail light bulbs we have a few errors on this car and then also some set uh, some rear trunk piece trims um that this car never even came with so uh let's go ahead and knock that out knock that out so at least we'll fix all the lights on the dash and at the same time put in this section right over here it's completely missing this section and uh this piece right here as well is completely broken so even if i want to just add that piece so it's not going to work i'm gonna have to add that piece and that piece and it's just thankfully i gotta dig I, I, like i said guys i'm doing all the detailed pieces on this build if you guys also see this is a satisfying video make sure to smash the like button so let's go ahead um honestly probably trying to knock out this section first and then uh let's go ahead and fix our tail light error <laughs> guys so for day one that's pretty much it we got that rear chunk piece together honestly the tail lights look like they're all working all of a sudden i don't know what's going on maybe one of the tail lights are aftermarket because it's throwing some faults but they're working so a little confused with that to be 100 percent honest with you guys so i'm probably just going to go ahead and delete that fault because for tail lights if you do have an aftermarket one you can delete that fault and you'll be fine so i'm gonna go ahead and delete the tail light fault because it looks like it's all working even with the power super low now in terms of the door cards and the aluminum trim on the door cards we're gonna probably do that uh tomorrow and then uh, at the same time, while we do the door cards, the aluminum, we're also gonna do the rear sunshades, and then uh, probably the headliner uh, in a uh, the same, I mean, probably on the third day. All gonna be in this video, guys, but I'm gonna go ahead, it's getting laid out right now, and I've been sweating all day. It's like 110 right now, um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to day two, guys. Today, we're actually gonna be replacing these door cards with the X5M ones, and uh, finally doing this headliner right over here as well. So uh, before and after is, is definitely needed.
the car finally back home, I decided to actually install the carbon fiber mirror caps and the and the, pretty much the gloss black grills. The reason I did this is because I want to knock out two issues. Um, currently, the car has really faded classy dipped grills, which looks really, really, really ugly. Um, that definitely helps by replacing with some cheap $40 glass black, gloss black grills. It's going to truly transform the front of the car. And these mirror caps have sun fade. It's the only sun fade in the entire car. And it makes the car look like it hasn't been pretty much um, maintained correctly. Um, so uh, yeah, putting on those carbon mirror caps, washing the car. As you can see right now, this is back fresh, fresh car wash looking so, so, so good. We detailed all the glass on the entire car, uh, put some tire shine on there. Uh, again, gloss black grills. We, just all these little details bring the car together and make it look so beautiful, so stunning. And this is definitely an important thing um, when working on a car and trying to make it look absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I honestly can't even put this kind of work into my own car, but putting it into a car that you guys end up selling just shows how, you know, really well maintained the car is. And as you guys can see with the interior, I decided to also do those little carpet stripes because who doesn't like carpet stripes? It looks so good. And again, really helps with the resale value of the car. Believe it or not, detailing, it, it, it goes a long way. We do have a check engine light for the catalytic converters again. Thankfully, the new owner does know about this issue and he is a car enthusiast just like I am. So um, he really wanted this car for his wife like ASAP. So I'm actually picking them up from the airport right now. They're coming from LA. Um, he said he'll get this sorted himself, which is, uh, you know, a big one for the both of us. But at the same time, he is picking up a fully loaded X5. I, I went ahead and got him some water for him and his wife. Got the cooling seats going. Uh, I'm actually turning on this massaging as well. I might as well, you know, enjoy it. And what's super strange as well um, is that he actually ran into my dad at the at the same plane my dad's coming back from la for a business trip um and uh, a work trip and uh, he's sitting right behind my dad at the airport <laughs> i mean at the the actual plane which is kind of crazy so uh small world small world but he saw my dad he's sitting really right behind him and uh, i guess i'm gonna go see my dad and him at the airport And guys, we're officially back at my place, but no longer with the keys to this X5 because it's officially sold. In this one video, you guys saw us put together this car. Um, we literally have done literally so much things to this car in the last couple of days, and it's officially sold um, as of right now. I'll show you guys all the numbers towards the end of this video, but this is the man right hey. here. <laughs> What's what up, going guys? on, bro? Um, he would, he'd been hitting me up for this car for over, like before he even started the build. He'd been hitting yeah. up for the car, and I was like, you know what? You really want the car? For me, I mean, it's a win-win for the both of us at the same time. Yes, um, and you're obviously a car enthusiast from, yeah, you flew down here from LA also. Like sight unseen, pretty much bought the car <laughs> sight unseen. Better than Co Copart. <laughs> Definitely better, better than Copart, at least I, I'm for not sure. sketchy like Copart. Uh, but I mean, uh, what's it called? You're also a car enthusiast from LA and yeah. you run Beamer Circuit? Yeah, so uh, I'm actually a mechanic and co-owner for Beamer Circuit. We do rallies, we do uh, car shows, we sell car parts. So. If you guys are interested or, or in the LA area, want to go to any car shows, car meets, uh, we're, we're definitely uh, your local LA meet place to either do meets or go to shows or just be around other BMW enthusiasts uh, that you know are like-minded, no crazy, no burnouts. We want to make sure <laughs> our family professionalism. Safe. Yes. Also, this guy is like, I, I like your vibe on camera, bro. You're not, you're not <laughs> nervous whatsoever. Oh, no. <laughs> I try, I try. I've what been on, on camera once or twice. You so, uh, you have a camera right there. So you do photography or what do you I do? I try. I mean, I'm trying to be Nor, you know, but- Oh, <laughs> shit. But we're, we're working there. We just do some editing. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hey guys, we are officially at the end of the video um, with a full price breakdown for you guys. This build has been absolutely a transformation. I've been honestly building this car to honestly enjoy for myself. But as you guys know, at the same time, when I build my cars, a lot of you guys actually end up wanting my builds. That's why I end up selling a lot of my builds, which also gives me opportunities to get new builds on the channel and also gives me a bigger opportunity to get to my dream car by the end of this year, which is an Audi R8, preferably Gen 2. Hopefully, hopefully that is the goal by the end of this year. But yes, now the price breakdown of how much this build actually cost me. And for those of you guys who are trying to do some flips over the weekends and stuff like that, this honestly took me probably two days to do the entire car. And then obviously another day to sell it. It ended up flying over. It did take about a week to fly over, but technically it would have took the third day if it was somebody locally. I ended up, I, the car wasn't even for sale. It was actually one of you guys that wanted the car from the get go. As soon as I posted up on YouTube, one of you guys were like, hey, Nor, if you end up selling this, let me know. And I was like, don't offer. So I got the price breakdown right here for you guys. Um, as you guys know from the last 
last video, we ended up picking up this car for $5,500. For a clean title X5 3.0, that's a pretty dang good deal. But as you guys know also, there was a catalytic issue with this car, um, which was kind of unfortunate. It honestly it just looks like it needs some cleaning because after a long drive, the check engine light goes away on its own, which means honestly, if you just take out the catalytic converters and get it cleaned, um, it'll be good to go. And thankfully, the new owner that purchased the vehicle, he was completely cool with it. And uh, he said that's something he was willing to sort himself. So that is a huge plus for us. And that's also another reason why I was able to let it go because the smog from the previous owner lasts three months and it was still good for me and it's still good for the next owner, which is Robert. Shout out to you, my guy. So yes, the car was $5,500 end of the day. It probably wasn't technically worth that much if I knew about the cats earlier. I probably would have negotiated even lower than that, but it's like $5,500, that's what we're into the car when we first bought it. Now you guys saw with the beautiful upgrades, we got X5M seats. Now those seats, are roughly worth about $2,000. Honestly, probably even with $1,500 alone, but the ones on eBay that I'm currently finding right now is a full interior door cards and the seats. The seats are not cooling and they're not massaging, they're just heated. The ones we got for this X5 is heated, massaging, and cooling. Such a sick spec and everything works on both seats. No airbag lights or anything like that. Those seats are honestly perfect. Just needed a little bit of TLC. They were pretty dirty, I'm not gonna lie. Door cards set us back another 300, but those are some extended leather door cards. Now, if you look on eBay, Bay. The cheapest thing you can find right now is $2,000 for a full interior, non-extended leather, um, just heated for $2,000. So you guys can honestly just imagine how much this interior probably would have cost. Um, I'm honestly thinking somewhere upwards of maybe a grand just for the door cards and two grand just for the seats. Just from the numbers I've seen and from numbers that I've purchased for other cars, that's generally what I'm thinking. But since I have no proof of what I'm saying, $2,000 interior right there is, uh, I think that's at least somewhat reasonable. And this is the value. Now, as you guys know, I spent about 500 on the seats, 300 on the door cards, so $800 on that. Um, valued around $2,000. Now, everything else we ended up picking up for this car, like the aluminum trim, which looks so, so, so good, really brought together the interior, the sport steering wheel and the sport airbag, and finally, finally, the black headline. It's something that looks so, so, so good that honestly should be belonged in every single BMW that you ever get. BMW should literally just have black headliner stamped on every single car. I don't even know why there's some with beige or gray or whatever. Black should be standard. And last but not least, we got the trunk repair kit. Now the good thing for those of you guys who don't know, I actually ended up picking up a parts car and I got the trunk repair thing for the, the, the rear lower trunk gates. I got that piece. I actually got wider fender flares we ended up including with the purchase of the car to Robert, the new owner. It came with black headliner, the sport steering wheel, the aluminum trim, and the sport airbag. Now all of this stuff right over here, um, rough value. I saw the black headliner alone on eBay sell for 1200 bucks. The steering wheel airbag, um, I can't find any that are heated. Um, so I, last time I checked the heated was roughly about $500 with airbag. I found one that's non-heated for 300 with airbag, but they're worth about $500 because this is the heated steering wheel. It does need to be retrofitted into this car. It's a ball, it's a ball steering wheel. And the aluminum trim, honestly guys, I saw one sell for 500, but recently someone posted up for 270, so I'll leave it at 270, which is the value of the aluminum trim that we got in this car. But we ended up getting all that basically for free because we bought the car for $1,000, we bought a donor car on the side, gutted everything um, in terms of like headlights, panels, interior, external, and we sold about $1,500 worth of stuff on that car. So technically the car came out free and everything else that we pretty much got to put onto this X5 is technically free because uh, those extra things, those modifications, um, I didn't pay for them because I only paid a thousand for the car and made fifteen hundred off the car. I ended up being I got five hundred dollars if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> so end of the day, for those guys who are wondering, Nor, so did you end up making any money, man? Because honestly, the numbers are just not adding up. So the numbers are for me. What I spent end of the day um, on this build is sixty three hundred dollars, fifty five hundred dollars for the car, five hundred for the seats. $500, I mean $300 for the door cards. Everything else came out pretty much free because of the flip and everything. Um, so yeah, $6,300 is my cost for this car. Now obviously we had to detail it, clean it up, put some gas in it, and I'm sure there's other little miscellaneous things, but $6,300 is the physical stuff I actually put into this car um, to make it look beautiful and just presentable. Actually, I forgot two more things. We got the grills for 40 bucks and the carbon fiber mirror caps for 40 bucks. So that brings us at $6,380. Which brings the grand total, if Robert ended up buying all this stuff himself and bought this car from me for, 50, for, for basically $5,500, he would end up spending $9,700. How much did I sell it for, you guys are probably asking? Drum roll. I lost money, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
So we ended up selling the car for $8,500 uh, for a one weekend pretty much job on this car. We profited nearly $2,100, a little over $2,100, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good for us. Robert did get his full $8,500 worth. And honestly, a little more than that, just because of everything is valued. He did get a clean title. He did get all, all those crazy modifications. I just got everything for such good deals. And that's the cool thing about doing little flips on weekends and stuff like that. If you guys can find things that make a car even better um, that for obviously very good deals, I would definitely cop those things make the car, add value to the car. And then we end up selling it. Um, it honestly, you, you've elevated the value of the car, but at the same time, he did it so cheaply um, to the point to we actually make some money. Now, Robert, honestly knew how much I was into this build. He wanted to also help out the channel at the same time. So it was just a win-win. So shout out to Robert for uh, supporting the channel, supporting this build. And again, he reached out to me before. I, I didn't even put this car for sale. I didn't have intentions to sell this car anytime soon. Well, I mean, when I say anytime soon, I mean in like the next week or two. He literally came out of nowhere. He was like, Nor, I need this X5. So anyway, long story short, guys, um, if you guys want to make a quick, you know, 2021, 1500, doesn't matter what it is, pick up a car, modify it, definitely do a detail. Details are very, very, very important and just put it up for sale. I mean, modifications honestly do add value, not a crazy amount of value, but do add value to the car. But yeah, guys, this is gonna have to conclude this flip. Now, if you guys wanna see more flips on this channel, make sure to smash the like button. We pretty much did the full build on this channel, selling the car, detailing the car, pretty much doing everything to this thing in one video. So for those of you guys who wanna see more, make sure to smash the like button. I'm possibly thinking of another one really, 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 really soon. So uh, yeah, again, smash the like button if you guys wanna see that. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay on, boss. See you on the next one. Peace out.